Hi, my name is Jay Jones. I'm a senior analyst on the PV module supply chain team. We cover everything from poly to module, looking at prices, looking at supply demand, looking at where technology is going and where it's not going, um, the whole gamut of the upstream space. So looking at 2017, uh, the key trend that I see is compression. Compression of key trends like margins, ASPs for the module manufacturing space. So 2017 is really going to be a year where module manufacturers step back and look at their strategy so the severity of oversupply doesn't affect their core manufacturing business. When I'm thinking about 2017, one of the key things that I'm looking at is how much capacity is going to be added on and how that relates to demand trends. In 2017, currently we are for, we're forecasting a down year for our base case forecast and a kind of flattish year for our upside scenario forecast. So that means that in general we should see a slowdown or a pause in manufacturing capacity additions. So that means key regions like China or rest of Asia where firms have been adding tariff-free capacity should see a year-over-year -year decline in capacity additions, which is different from what we've seen in the past couple of years where firms have been adding more capacity as the market um, called for more uh, to come online. So when I think about pricing in 2017, I think about how the supply demand balance will change. In general, we don't think that it will recover, but I'm thinking about will the supply demand balance become more severe in terms of oversupply. You know, I'm thinking about how low production costs can go in both Chinese and rest of Asia facilities. I'm thinking about um, how low manufacturers will allow their margins to decline.